for D. Tell me. Subtracting by borrowing is easy. Sing for them. When you subtract big numbers, you can borrow. Tell me. Place values one sentence, hundred and thousands. When you subtract big numbers, you can borrow. Place values one sentence, hundred and thousands. Listen. I'm telling you, it's important to know when subtraction is borrowing. It's easy enough to know. Let me give you the example. Remember this. 36 subtract 9. We want the answer. Let's press them in their correct columns. The 6 belongs to the place value of 1s. The 3 belongs to the place value of 10s. How much do we subtract? We subtract 9. How much do we subtract? We subtract 9. Exactly. Let's follow this rule. Can we subtract 9 from a 6? No, we can't. Come again? No, we can't. Come again? No, we can't. So what should we do now? What should we do now? Let's remember the place value of 10. I can take one 10 from there and bring it here to the size of ones with the six ones. Now we have 16 ones. So 16 subtract 9. Now we can do. Now we have seven ones. And we took one from the tens. So now, how many tens are left? Two tens are left. How many tens are left? Two tens are left. We have two tens left. It's simple as that. You just follow the rules. That is six subtract nine. Hmm? You know the answer. The answer is 27. We follow the place values and we got our answer. When you subtract big numbers, you can borrow. Place values one sentence, hundred and thousands. When you subtract big numbers, you can borrow. Place values one sentence, hundred and thousands. When you subtract big numbers, you can borrow. Place values one sentence, hundred and thousands. When you subtract big numbers, you can borrow. Place values one sentence, hundred and thousands.